Hey, what is going on guys? Vexen here bringing my first Photoshop tutorial. So today, as you probably know from the title, I'm going to be showing you how to make a clean 2D outro. And you can make this whatever colors you want. It's just a gray and a nice color, your choice. A uh, nice and simple outro using YouTube's uh, new outro features. So it will be uh, utilizing them rather than just annotations. So the first thing you want to do is go File, New, and we'll just make a document 1920 by... 1080 and then just make sure it's transparent background you know name it whatever you want your choice and then you said okay and we'll have a big uh, blank uh, rectangle here so the first thing you want to do is click over here on your eyedropper tool and just get a nice gray color I'm just using the background here and then just fill the background like that you know you can make it more of a tinge of a color towards it if you want it not like quite a solid gray but just pick the background if you want it nice and simple and then what you want to do is click on new layer and then just drag like a selection and then what we're going to do is pick your primary color so uh, for my channel is usually blue but I think I'll do an orange in this video that looks like a nice color and then make sure it's on the new layer just hit bucket tool control D to deselect that control J to duplicate it and then control T drag it down and then we can just merge them together and then we've got some nice color at the top here. Now, what I like to do in my videos, or my outros rather, I like to have some gameplay in the background of whatever game the video is about, or you know, whatever the video is about, just have some footage in the background, and I usually have it a bit blurred. But obviously, if I just drag this picture in here. Now, you don't do this step, this is just an example to show you, but just raw gameplay is not very good, it's too colorful, too distracting, so what we're gonna do is put that below the gray, and then set the gray to about 90% opacity. And that way you can still see the gameplay, and obviously if this was in Premiere or Vegas, this would be actual footage rather than just a picture layer down here. And you'd see movement, but it wouldn't be too distracting, and it has kind of, it's a background thing, but it just adds a bit, it makes it a bit more interesting without being too distracting. So just make this 90% or 80% and leave it transparent, so when you're rendering it, or when we're saving it, just make sure you don't have a picture like that. That's just a pure example. So uh, just pretend this layer's not here, you don't have to do this step. Now what we're going to do next is go over to my GFX pack, so I'll leave a link to that video and you can download it. This is uh, my 5k GFX pack, I made it very recently. Now what we're looking for in this pack is the vectors for our social media icons. So for this I'm just going to use Facebook and Twitter. So just hold control to select two of them and we're going to drag over to our project here. And then these are actually invisible, so make them visible and then hit control D. Or sorry, control T rather. And then you want to hold Alt and Shift, and then just drag them a bit smaller. And just tick. And we'll control T again, to move them away. And this is our two social media icons. You can use way more if you want, but these are just two I'm going to use for the example. I'm going to double click on them and hit Color Overlay, and then you know, just make sure it's the same color you've picked up there. Hit OK, and then just do the same thing for the other icons you've got here. So now this is uh, really nice looking bright icons. So next thing we need to do is obviously just having two pictures of two icons in the center of the screen, that doesn't really mean much. So what we're gonna do is put your Twitter or your Facebook, whatever it is. So I'll have at VexinatorYT, that's mine. Hold control, you can drag it and then tick and hold shift and just make it smaller. And what we're gonna do with this text, I'm gonna make it uh, contrasting color to orange, so we'll make it white, and then we'll get the Twitter, and we'll looks a bit big for this. So shift the alt once again, make drag it small, and then we go. So that looks really good. We we'll select the two layers, and we'll put that over in the left, we'll make it way smaller so there's enough room. And now we need to do the same thing for Facebook. So make sure the Facebook logo same size as the Twitter. The main thing with these is making everything in unison or all similar and all fitting into one theme. That's the most important thing when you're designing something like this. It all has to fit together nicely. If it's just all over the place, it looks and ends up looking really messy. So you want to really avoid that. And then what we can do, control J to duplicate that layer, control T, move it over. Uh, make that a slash because it is Facebook obviously. And actually move it bit closer and again you want to try and get this distance here the same as this distance here so try and keep everything uh, similar and everything the same now what I'm going to do select all four layers hit control T 
and when this pink bar pops up that just means it's centered so make sure it's centered I'll put about there it looks good and then there you go you've got your social media at the bottom so people actually can you know follow you on Twitter or add you as a friend on Facebook and you know whatever social media you put there now we can do put them into a folder so just do that and then we'll call it social and then we can just sort this out so we actually you know know what's going on in the project so the next thing you'll need is a sizing template so if you've never used it before when you're making an outro on YouTube you have you can put in a video link or you can I think you put up to four video links and then you can also put your thumbnail like your avatar sorry and when people click on your avatar uh, it will be it will show up a box and then they can subscribe to you but you need to get these things the right size to make sure they fit with your template properly so what I've done is I, you know, I've made this template and you, I'll leave a link to download this in the description and basically this is I think the minimum size your video can be you can make it you can drag it bigger and smaller when you're actually editing on the YouTube web page and this is the size that your icon will be or your avatar so you can just leave them in this position just for this and I'm gonna put them there on the right hand side now obviously you can have up to four of these and I think you can do your own channel plus someone else's channel if you want so you can have probably uh, probably up to four of these as well I've never tried doing more than two so just put them over on the side there and that's the sizes now it's very important these sizes because if you make uh, everything too close together these will overlap these two boxes and it just won't look good so you ma sizing is very important so just download this picture and make sure you've got all those sizes correct now the next thing you want to do is a bit blank over here so we're going to put some text so we're going to write subscribe for more tutorials now obviously this looks terrible because I've got my settings all over the place so this will set to auto and subs if I can spell right and then what we're going to do is this middle line we're going to make our theme color and we'll drag a bit bigger so I'm just holding control up here and you can drag left and right to change the size of your text make it about the same as the others make sure it's centered hit control T and there we go so what we're going to do is tilt this a bit and do that now I think I do need to make this back to what it was before actually yeah it looks much better and then there you go that's pretty it so you've got your text and it's a you know a call to action saying please subscribe uh, people when they read a message they see a message at the end of a video rather than just ending they're more likely to do something and they're more likely to in this case subscribe or follow you or look at your Facebook so just make it all bright and attractive and people reading it and then hopefully this will help you so always having a good outro it can really make the difference between a video the video itself can be great but if someone's got a crappy outro you just kind of think they have good content but they just don't know how to put it out there properly so with something like this it looks really nice nice and clear and on the actual YouTube web page when you're uploading when you're on the cards page you can put your video in here and you can put your channel icon here and you can see these are a bit fuzzy around the edge it actually creates kind of a shadow effect on the boxes so they're not just sitting there kind of looking you know, not quite right uh, so that's why they're a bit blurred and it makes it uh, way nicer if you have the blurred shadow effect. And yeah, that's pretty it. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you guys. Remember, if it has, please leave a like down below or even subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, just let me know what other tutorials you want to see. Let me know if this tutorial has helped you. Uh, just leave me a comment. It's always really, really appreciated. And yeah, that's pretty it. So I hope you enjoyed my first Photoshop tutorial. Hopefully you like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.